Sir, the, your name has been put forward by the Italian investigators in this case. What is your first reaction? My first reaction is that of shock. Hmm. What has the Italians got to do with me and what have I got to do with the VIP helicopter deal? In fact, this story has been on for a while now, for the last few months. In fact, Indian Express has been covering it. Um, one of the charges is that uh, I was bribed because, uh, well, firstly, the charges that I was bribed. Uh, mm -hmm. And the second one is that I was bribed because I had tweaked, or uh, was the word used, changed some requirements. Now, all I know is, uh, to the best of my knowledge, as the memory goes, I retired six years ago. And there were no requirements changed uh, mm. whilst I was around. So, but why would your name crop up? Where do you yeah, think... I, I would like to know, if, in, in, in mm. case, uh, uh, I would like to know it myself. Why would my name crop up? Well, I mean, the fact is it has cropped up. I mean, I cannot deny that. But uh, mm. why should it crop up? I would like to know myself. Sure. So, let me let me get in Shivaroor, our deputy editor, who would like to now question you on this shit. Yeah. It's over yeah. to you. Uh, yeah, good morning, uh, H.E. Syagi. This is uh, Shiv Arood here. Uh, sir, Hello. could you take us through? You, you became the uh, Chief of Air Staff in, 2000, uh, in 2004. Could you take us through the sequence of events that led up to this requirement? Because uh, there are suggestions that while you were in office, uh, you know, these documents suggest that you were in a position of power and actually manipulated the specifications and the requirements. How would you respond to that, I would respond by saying that uh, they were no, I have checked with uh, those who deal with the subject, you know, my colleagues who were working with me in air headquarters at that time. And to my, um, well, to their knowledge and to, um, to the best of my knowledge, there were no requirements changed. Uh, you know, the, frankly, um, the requirements were first set in year 2000 for the VIP helicopter. And if there were some changes made, to the best of my knowledge, they were made sometime around 2003. Uh, and uh, subsequently, the SPG did make some changes or some suggestions of change. But they were not for changes for the helicopter. They were changes in fitment, like seats and toilets and, and uh, missile warning systems and such like things. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, during my tenure, no... Requirements for speed change. Uh, Edgy Tiyagi, you know, the documents that we have in our possession, the preliminary yeah. inquiry report, it names, yeah. uh, you know, three brothers, Julie yeah. Tiyagi, Dr. Tiyagi, Sandeep yeah. Tiyagi. Uh, yeah. uh, what, is, what is their connection with you, sir? My, they are my cousins. They certainly are related to me. They are my cousins. But uh, they have nothing to do with... Uh, well, I'll tell you what. This uh, news came out in Indian Express sometimes back. And I have, of course, uh, talked to them and asked them why this, their name figure in this and why may, my name should figure in it. Perhaps it figures because their name figure in it. Um, I can only say what they told me, that they have nothing to do with it. So I, when, I, when I asked why their names were figuring, they said they have some business relations with some of these Italians, but it had nothing to do with the VIP helicopter that they dealt with them in the power sector. But that is all I know. Uh, Edgy Tiagi, uh, you know, since you were air chief in uh, 2007 uh, and uh, in, in between 2004 and 2007 when this when this uh, requirement was being, uh, you know, done and this entire acquisition was being carried out, uh, yeah. uh, uh, can, you, can, you categorically, can you categorically say that it was a clean affair? Because you were in a position of power at Vayu Bhavan. Was there any pressure from the government to change any specifications? Did the government itself change any specifications? Can you take us and give us a little bit of insight into that aspect? No, um, there was no question of pressure. No, none at all. Not uh, in this deal or in any other deal. It was done, uh, to my best of my knowledge, very, very professionally. The, you see, what happened was that the RFP was issued. That means the tender was issued. While I, I was the chief, there is no doubt about that. Sometimes in 2006 from memory. Mm, and, um, and I was the chief. I was certainly in the position of power at that time. But please understand, requirements are not made by air headquarters, nor are they changed by air headquarters. Air headquarters is best as a recommended body. These requirements are finalized by the government of India, meaning the Ministry of Defense. Uh, you know, no, nobody in air headquarters can uh, unilaterally change requirements. It is, there is justification that it will be all on files anyway. 
I, but I know that no requirements were uh, changed during when I was I, I was a chief because I've checked with people who are dealing with it. But, um, nobody can recall this. If any requirements were changed, no requirements, to the best of my knowledge, were changed after the year 2003. Uh, Ajit Tyagi, uh, are you uh, are you convinced that your mm. cousins, uh, Julie Tyagi, Dr. Tyagi, and Sandeep Tyagi, uh, have been entirely clean in this affair? You say you've spoken to them, and they say they have nothing to do with it. Are you completely convinced of that? Look, I I am convinced because of the fact is that why would anybody? I mean, when I am out of the job and I can't influence things, why would anybody? Get in, involved in bribing me. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, because the charge is bribe, really. I hate to use this word, but uh, there it is. Um, all I know is that, uh, how do I put it? In 2007, March, I retired, and the entire process of evaluation, technical evaluation, trials, commercial evaluations, this, that, and the other, was done. I was no, no, nowhere close to the, what, what you call the seat of power. Um, and I, I have no idea what happened actually and what, what the, how the process was gone through. And there was no way uh, any other chief could have influenced when I was the chief. And similarly, I don't think I could have influenced events after I retired. You can't, it's difficult to influence events whilst you are there because it's a process. This is not a banana republic. Some would say that they, they cannot be, you know, smoke without a fire. Yeah. Uh, given that, I'm just asking you, you know, your assessment of this. Why would you, I mean, considering there have been so many chiefs, you know, before you, after you, when the requirement was being formulated, when it was being executed, there were individuals after you, there were deputy chiefs, there were vice chiefs, there were people in the Ministry of Defense. Why has your name appeared so specifically in this report, what is what is what is your assessment of that? Shiv, I'm actually under a slight state of shock. I only half an hour ago I actually read this headline after my blog, and frankly, uh, at this stage I can't. Let uh, you will have to give me some time to think it out. That that there is something something has happened. Something has gone wrong. There's no doubt about it. What it is, I haven't a clue. Do you suspect anyone of any vested interest? Have you have you had a chance to speak to your cousins after this report came out, sir? Not not today. No, no, I have not. But uh, because my phone hasn't stopped ringing, and uh, I've talked to nobody. But um, all I all I can say is that when I had spoken to them, they had of course denied anything to do with it. So just a few more questions. Uh, you know, now that the helicopters have begun being delivered. Do you feel, apart from the uh, the angle where where you know your name has come up in these documents, do you believe that this is going to completely ruin the the the, the remainder of this program because three helicopters have been delivered, the others have not been delivered yet? Do you think it could delay things? I think the inquiry will establish this, isn't it? There will be an inquiry. This will establish if there is any wrongdoing. You know, the fact is that if there is a wrongdoing, the policy is clear, then the government will act accordingly. If there is no wrongdoing, then the deliveries will continue. Till, uh, till yesterday, at least, um, the government had said that uh, they will not uh, allow the process to be stopped. Uh, Edi Tyagi, uh, you know, considering that the onus is also now uh, on the government, for the last one year there have been these allegations that have been swirling against uh, Agusta Westland and the manner in which this entire deal was uh, actually, you know, done. And Headlines Today has played a large part in, you know, bringing out those investigations and reporting those stories here on Headlines Today about the Agusta Westland deal. Uh, do you believe that the government has perhaps failed in its duty to, by, you know, delaying the decision to order a CBI probe, which they could have done, you know, at least 365 days ago? I can't really comment because I have no idea what the what the government has done, not done. I know that the government went public and said that they had held an internal inquiry or some kind of um, inquiry. So, frankly, for me to comment whether they should have done, not done, what is the inputs available to them, what uh, would perhaps be incorrect. Um, only they can answer whether they should have or not. And all I know is that they did, at least they went public, and because there were some parliamentary questions, media questioned them, they had said that they had carried out some internal inquiry and found nothing wrong. Uh, Eddie, uh, final question to you, sir. Are, are you categorically saying here on headlines today that 
nothing wrong has been done by you you were not paid any bribes you were not offered any bribes and absolutely nothing uh, you know uh, no malpractice has come from your side either while you were serving or after you retired as far as this VIP copter deal was concerned yeah yes yes that is correct that is correct i'm saying that all right at least marshal sp tyagi uh, appreciate you speaking the headlines today and clarifying your position uh, on this story